Hello, good people! This is Fisher12, and we have another exciting episode of the Black Ops show for you guys today, as always. And earlier today, tons of Black Ops 3 Zombies info was leaked. Apparently, someone was able to access the beta's game code on PC and found files referencing two zombies. Things like menu music, easter egg songs, game settings, achievements, so much information that it can't fit into one video. Now, all this information was posted on Twitter and has since been taken down. Supposedly Treyarch or Activision called this person directly and had them take it down. But I'm going to recap all this info regardless in a series of videos. This first one is going to focus on some of the more general information leaked and then the following videos are going to be on more specifics. The Shadows of Evil trailer song was leaked, both with lyrics and without lyrics, so it's good that we have that after months of trying to hunt down that song. The Black Ops 3 menu music was leaked as well. This is pretty much the same Zombies music that we're used to hearing, only there's a little bit more uh, piano, a little bit more percussion going on. It's definitely been revamped. All the perk jingles were released as well, including an awesome one for Widow's Wine. And lastly, there was a file uploaded for the giant Easter egg song, and it supposedly Save Our Last Goodbye by disturbed now it's entirely possible that this guy just uploaded this song and titled it giant easter egg song but assuming that because all the other information is correct this would be correct as well there's gonna be two modes in zombies there's gonna be a free play mode where you can just freely pick the maps you want to play from and then there's gonna be a campaign mode that's supposed to tie all the maps together so very similar to the campaign mode for titanfall if you think about it like that you could play any multiplayer map you wanted, but the campaign made you play through all the maps individually in a specific order. There was also code suggesting that there will be a play as zombie type of mode, but again, this type of code has been found in every Treyarch game since World of War, so this may just be leftover code. We don't know if this will actually turn into an actual game mode or not. Buildables will be returning. Difficulty settings are going to be returning. Theater mode is going to be returning. There was code that showed checking of your progress in the Black Ops 2 Easter eggs. We don't know why that is. It's possible that maybe it's going to look at your Black Ops 2 Easter eggs to see if you can do the Black Ops 3 Easter eggs. Maybe there's some tie-in there. It's also entirely possible that these are just placeholders for the Black Ops 3 Easter egg achievements. There's going to be 55 levels, and there was also references to prestiging as well. It was previously confirmed by Activision that there would be an XP system for zombies, so this isn't entirely breaking news. There's going to be character customization as well, and there's possibly going to be a Kino and Verrucked remake. So, like I said, a lot of information was leaked, and this is probably only the half of it, and because all this information, or at least 90% of this information, is coming from actual game code references, I consider this to be pretty reliable info. I still have so much to share with all the revealed perks, mystery box weapons, even a new power weapon, so stay tuned for that, guys. But that's going to do it for this episode. Make sure to like and share and subscribe to the channel for more Black Ops 3 content. With that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and take care.